Okay, so I've got this spreadsheet here in Excel and what I want to do is filter the data I've got here and you can see that I've got training courses and I can see the date, the software, the level, the location and the number of attendees. And what I want to know are the courses, the top 10 courses with the most amount of attendees. And the great thing is, is that Excel has that built in in their filters. So what I need to do is click anywhere inside this data set, this list, go to data. Over here, I'm going to click on filter. And by the way, this works on the Mac and the PC. I've now got my drop down lists here for my filters and it's the number of attendees that I want. I'm going to click on that and over here you've got number filters and the one I'm after is top 10. Now it's not just top 10. Let me click on this. It's also the bottom 10. So I could choose the highest or the lowest of that range. Let's stick with top. You've also got the number here and by default it is 10 since it called it top 10. You can change that. I can move that up and down. I could even type that in say to 20. I'm going to leave it back on 10 and it's going to show me the top 10 items. That's actually 10 of these. I could also find the top 10%. Let's just stick with items for the moment and we're going to come back to this. I'm going to click on OK and there you have it. There are your top 10. Now I had these sorted before, so it's showing me in this order here from top to bottom. I could go to my sort here and make this lowest to highest. And there you are, that's not quite done. Let me just click here. There we go, lowest to highest. And if it wasn't in that order and I wanted highest to lowest, I could click on this one. So that is how you can show your top 10. Now what about the top 10% or whatever percent that you want. So let's go back to this drop down arrow. Let's go back to my number filters and choose top 10. And I'm just going to change that to percent. And when I do, I now just get the top 10%, which are just these two. So that is how you can use the top 10. Remember, it's not just the top 10. It is it could be the bottom 10 or any number that you like. Well, within reason, you may not want the top thousand or whatever it is, but let's just say this is how you can easily filter that out. To turn off the filter, you just click on the filter button here in your ribbon. And there you have it. So if you want to know more, I do have more about the filter and other things in Excel, Word, PowerPoint. If you do like what you see here, please do like the video, subscribe and share. Thanks for watching and do come back and see more.